guitar buddies that was the Pink Floyd classic another brick in the wall so in the key of D minor and on the verses I'm playing a D minor chord as a bar chord okay and just just muting some of so ding ding just some some muted strums in there Okay, so we've got a D minor chord, and when it goes to A teacher, we jump to a G chord, which I'm just playing on seven, eight, and seven on the top three strings. There's actually two guitars on the rhythm part, another one's kind of more playing. Okay, but I just did a kind of one guitar, rhythm guitar version. So uh, wherever you play it, it's a G. Then we're back to a D minor. And just play it. Yeah, so after that G, we'll go to just a D minor, just for part of the bar. And then we play this great little fill. So I'm playing a D minor on 10, 10, and 10 on top three strings, all the top three strings this phrase to C on 9, 8, 8 back to D minor then back to C G with like we played earlier so D, C, so D minor C, D minor C G to F, just move that shape down, the G shape down two frets to F. And then just ca carried on strumming that from the F to the C. Back to a D minor. Just did a little hammer on that D minor this time. So just barring on five and And then the chorus again, F, C, and a stop on the D minor. And then it comes back in again, with just a repeat. We don't need no education. Okay, and then back to the G, D minor. And All in all, I just uh, seen another brick in the D minor. F, C, D minor. Okay, and then that takes us into the guitar solo. Uh, but first we'll take a look at some of the lead parts over the verse and choruses. On the verses, I'm playing a lead guitar part that's basically following the vocal melody. And I was playing this in octaves, so you don't have to. I'll break it down in single notes first. I'm playing D, E, F, E, D, E, F, E the first time. So I'm playing it with a little bend. So I'm playing five and seven of the A string. Then just bending to A and releasing back to E. So it's just a semitone bend. Play that twice. And the second time, just going up to an F. So D, E, bend back to E. D, E, and then just slide up to F. And those last notes kind of sustain and, and then sort of just fade out a little bit. So you got... And then the octave on top I was playing was... Just 7, 9, bent to 10, back to 9 on the G string. Twice and... 
and then slide into 10. Okay, and I just put them together. Get a really fat sound. Okay, so it's up to you um, if you want to do it in octaves or single notes. Okay, and then on the A teacher, I just played a G and sustained that. So I just play that on five on the D string, or I could just play an open, open G note. And then we've got all in all, just another brick in the wall. I've played an F power chord. All in all, we're just uh, to C. Another brick in the wall. To D, so just F5 to C5 to D5, and again, all in all, we're just a another brick in the wall. First time stopped, the second time just kind of sustained that as it went into the guitar solo. Okay, so we'll take a look at the solo next. It's such a classic solo, it starts with. I'm playing around the D minor pentatonic scale. I'm playing C to A, G to A. So I'm pulling off on 13 to 10 on the B string and 12 on the G string, back to A on 10. Then I bend the G and play a D on 10 on the E string. and then finish it off by bending from C to D. So I'm playing 13 and bending up a tone to 15. Great opening. Then just play a little stab there on 10 and 10 on F and A on the G and B strings. And then got this classic Dave Gilmore where he bends two tones. So first he bends a tone, then pushes it up a further, up to an E. So you got, you bend into there, then pushing it up to E. So you got, that's the notes you're aiming for, all on 13 on the B string. Yeah. Then we've got C, A, G, A, a bend, quite similar to the opening lick. So I'll play 13, 10, 12, 10 on B and G. Then bending the G. Okay, on 12. Then We're playing, got, um, we're now introducing an E note into this, minor second. So I'm playing F, E, F, E, D, E, 10, 9, 12, 10. And then sliding from C to D, I'm playing G back to D, so 10, 12, 12, 12. So you got 10, 9, 12, 9, 10, 12, 12, 12 of the G and D strings. And then finish it off with that little double stop again on 10 and 10. And then we've another little stab on that. And then we've got just playing playing those notes again. F and A on 10 and 10. Then a D on 12 on the D string. And again. Then F and A to G and B, so 10 and 10 to 12 and 12, back to 10 and 10 and just kind of pull in on that, yeah?
Okay, and then we've got we're raking across a D minor chord. So I'm playing 12, 10, 10, 10, 10. So just, so not really pushing down my fingers, just kind of loosening my fingers as soon as I play it. So I don't want that. I want, I want kind of to mute each note as they're played. So, and then bend an F to a G. And back to the F. So you're bending it on 13 and then releasing back to 13. And then you've got this again, but with an extra note. So you bend even further this time. Before we were bending two tones. Now we're bending the full fourth. Okay, so we made your third before. So you bend That's the kind of notes you're going for. So you've got to... Okay, so big bends there. Classic Dave Gilmore. Okay, so it's all just bending on 13 again. Next, we've got this great lick. Okay, I'm playing, that's the first start, I'm playing a bend on 12 on the G string, then A and D on 10 and 10 on the B and E strings. Then pulling off from C to A, 13 to 10, and then playing 12 on the G string. So C, A, G. And then a little pre-bend on the G and release. So bend on 12, release to 12, down to 10. Then 12, 10, 12, that's G, F, D. So slowly so far. Then F, D, C, so 10, 12, 10, so we've got, and then just carrying down on down the scale, I'm now playing D, C, A, so that's 12, 10, 12 of the D and A strings, and also I just sort of caught 10 as well on the G string, doesn't really matter, but sounds like it's just kind of in there. So, um, so, okay, so, then carrying on down, 10, 12, 10, C, A, G, so that's on the D and A strings, and then, Move into 10, 8, 10, 8, 10. Okay, so G, F, D, C, D. Okay. On the A and E strings then. And just repeating those last few notes. F, D, C, D. 8, 10, 8, 10. So slowly. I played a lick around the fifth position. Okay, I'm playing A, C, D, seven, five, seven on the D and its G strings. And then a little trill E, F, E, D, five, six, five, seven. On the B and G strings. 
then 7 5 7 coming back down D C A so and then the little pull on that C on 5 to a D on 7 on the G string then coming back down D to C so just those two notes 5 and 7 And then a kind of slow push on that F on six. Yeah, so you've got. And then we're coming back up to our old favourite, that bend. And then moving up the neck to bend. And it's just basically faded out at this point. So I'm bending a G to an A. Then an F, and then, and then, D, F, and just kind of bend it a G. So it's all around here on 15, 13, 15. So we start with a bend to 17 on the E string, and down to F on 13. Bend that, and then as it's fading out, it just keeps kind of going up the neck. So I'm bending from an A to a C. Then bending a C up to a D, just sort of taking it up the neck as the track is faded out. Such a great solo. And before we take a look at the bass, I'll just take a look at those keyboard chords that I put on the track. I use my Electro Harmonics B9 organ pedal just to put some of those chords in and I'm playing a D minor, C, D minor. So it's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Okay, so it's just three on D, two on G, three on B, to two open one, back to the D minor. And then it went, it goes from a D minor to a C, D minor, and then there's a change where it goes to a G. You can see it on the playthrough. So I'm playing five, two, three, two bars, that down to F for two bars, back to G. The bass is always staying the same over these chords, back to D minor back to C. So just got basically those chords and that's pretty much where it's kind of faded out at that point on the D minor to C. So next we'll take a look at the bass. For the bass I've tuned the E string down to a D and that's the note you start with. Just a sustained D and then you're into the main riff. Okay, so that's what I'm playing on first is open D, which is the bottom D, C to D, three to five, on the A string, then D again, twice, open A to C, so open to three. And when we go to the G chord, I'm just playing G, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So that's where well, you can hear a slide on the track. So I'm playing that G, which is on five on the bottom string now, because we've tuned it down. So, hey, teacher. Okay, so playing one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and I'm sliding up to 12. So I'm basically playing what I'm playing here, but I just want to get a nice slide in. So I'm sliding up the neck 12, 10, 12. And then playing. 
going to an F here, so I'm playing A, G, F, all in all, it's all seven, five, three, all in all, but just a C, or three, so three on the east, on the bottom string, the D string, to three on the A string, back to, so, so you do, 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 and then that run down again, so I've got D, C, D, five, three, five, 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 seven, five, A, G, because just repeating that chorus section, F, all in all, we're just a, another brick in the boom. And the first time you do a stop, and then it just repeats, open, okay, and then, so, back into the verse. There's a slight change on the guitar solo, I'm playing, Play that sequence round and round. So I start on a D, C to D, five on A, three, five, then D again, open A to C, then low D, C, D, so open, three, five, and then just five, three, five, D. C, D, and then that sequence repeats. And that just goes round as it plays the guitar solo into the fade out. All right, great track. And that's the last of our little Pink Floyd uh, trilogy this week. So thanks for watching, buddies.